Today, we're gonna to show you how to set up a TP-Link Casa Smart Wi-Fi outdoor plug like we've got right here. This is great for controlling uh, lighting outside or Christmas lights or anything that you've got outside that you wanna put on a timer or be able to control it from your phone because this connects via Wi-Fi and then allows you to turn it on or off or set schedules. The first thing that you need to do to set up your Casa Smart Wi-Fi outdoor plug is download the Casa app, which we've got right here, and you're just gonna set up a username and password. Once you've done that, you're going to log into the app with your username and password, and then we're going to click right here, add a device. Now, I'm gonna plug this in while we are uh, going through these uh, instructions so that we are ready to get it set up. So I'm just gonna plug it in so it's powered up and you can see a uh, little light turns on there and we're gonna continue with our setup here. So it says, what are you setting up? We're setting up a smart plug, so we're gonna make that selection. And then it's got a whole bunch of different stuff here but we are setting up a smart plug, this outdoor plug down here. So we're gonna make that selection right there. It says power up your smart outdoor plug. We have already plugged it in, that's great. And then it says the light will start blinking. Our light is blinking. We're gonna click next. And then it says after about 15 seconds, look at the front of the smart outdoor plug. Is the Wi-Fi light blinking orange and green? Yes, ours is blinking orange and green. It may hard, be hard to see the uh, colors on camera, but it is orange and green. So I'm gonna click orange and green down here. And it says, connect to your smart outdoor plug. So what we're gonna do is go to our Wi-Fi network and connect directly to the uh, Casa TP-Link plug. So I went into the settings tab on my iPhone and I clicked on Wi-Fi and you can see our TP-Link smart plug is right here. It shows up as that device. And uh, now we're connecting to that. So we are now connected to the Wi-Fi smart plug. We're gonna go back to the app, okay? We're back in the app. It says connecting to smart outdoor plug. Now we need to choose a network to set this up on. So we're gonna do that right now and enter your password. Once we've entered our password, we're just going to click join. Now it says connecting your smart outdoor plug to your home network. This may take a few minutes. Great, our TP-Link Casa Smart Wi-Fi Outdoor Plug has connected and now we can give this a name. I'm just gonna call this Patio because we're going to use it with some outdoor lights and click Save. You can choose the icon you wanna use here. So we're gonna use uh, these because we're gonna use it with some outdoor lights here and it says, congratulations, uh, you have set up your uh, TP-Link Wi-Fi Outdoor Plug, sounds good. Click OK, welcome to the plug. It gives you some directions here. Welcome to Smart Outdoor Plug. Swipe on tips for how to use it. Uh, let's scroll through scenes and actions. You can set those up and there's other things that you can do. So let's get started. All right, and we're just gonna, there we go, it pops up. Now let's plug in our string of lights right here. Okay, so it's currently on. We're just gonna turn it off uh, right here. There's a power button you can press right there to turn it off. And uh, we've got our Christmas lights here. Now let's see if we can remotely control it uh, from the app here. So I'm just going to press that and I can turn it now on and off uh, remotely right from the app, which is pretty convenient. And uh, you can then set all kinds of different stuff like um, schedules and things if you want so that you can turn this off at a certain time or turn it on at a certain time. But uh, pretty easy to use. You can then go in there if you want and get kind of this bigger view of it. But if we wanted to, and I'll just show you what I did here, I clicked on, instead of just the quick on and off button right here, I click on the actual device itself. That allows you then to schedule set a timer or an away or a runtime. So if I click over here on runtime, it tells you how long this has been on or off. So that's really cool. So you can see how much energy you've used. Uh, if I go here on a schedule, you just click up here at the top and you can add a schedule. Uh, well, so we would say like, let's turn on the power at um, dusk. So we'll just say like seven o'clock. 
and uh, then I could have that turn on every day and I would save. And then I would do another schedule activity to turn it off at a certain time. Now, I'm just using a time. However, you can use sunrise or sunset and it will load based on uh, your geographic location. So that's pretty cool. Uh, at sunset, let's say we're gonna turn on and we're gonna save. And then I'm gonna have one that uh, turns off the power and I'll just have it turn off every night at 11 p.m. So now what would happen is at sunset, these lights turn on and then at 11 p.m. they turn off. So pretty cool, pretty easy to be able to do that. Or you could click on a timer here. Uh, it says, uh, turn my smart outdoor plug on after 30 minutes. Uh, or you could say, turn it off after 30 minutes. So let's say I just turned this on right here and then started uh, in 29 minutes and 57 seconds, my smart plug will now turn off. So that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna stop that so it doesn't mess with um, anything else that we are doing here. And uh, you've got that timer and turn it off right here. It has an away mode, so you can have an away mode uh, on this, a start time and an end time, and then you can choose which days you want it to uh, go into away mode. And there's all kinds of other stuff that you can do once you connect this to, uh, let's say, Alexa or Google Home. So you can control it with your voice commands if you wanted to. So thanks for watching this video on how to set up your TP-Link Acasa Smart Wi-Fi Outdoor Plug. We hope you enjoy this video. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.